What's going on guys? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy and this channel focuses on fragrances and fashion. So looking good and smelling great. That's what I talk about uh, on the channel. So if you're interested in that or if you think you'll be you know, interested in hearing more information about fragrances and how you can look and smell your best each and every day, then I invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, take another quick second to go ahead and tap that bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I drop new content on the channel. So on today, guys, I'm going to be doing a review of a fragrance from the house of BDK Parfums. And the name of the fragrance is called Rouge Smoking. Now, there's been a lot of smoke, if you will, going around uh, the fragrance community about this fragrance. And I talked about this fragrance briefly on a video uh, last week. So I wanted to come back uh, because there is so much hype about it and give a full review uh, on the fragrance. I can just, of course, you know, kind of give you guys my take on this fragrance. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Is this thing worth the hype? Well, I'm going to tell you if you stick around. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into the review of BDK Parfums Rouge Smoking. Now, this is highly regarded as one of the best uh, releases from this brand. I think they uh, started this brand around 2016. <clears throat> I think there are about nine or 10 different offerings that they have from this house. So again, I wanna talk about this one because this one to me has gotten the most attention. Uh, from the brand. So let's take a look at the presentation on it. This is the bottle. That's what it looks like. So <clears throat> the bottle is kind of simplistic, but I do like the bottle. This cap on here is pretty sturdy, so it's pretty heavy cap. Uh, it has, I think it said BDK on the top. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up or not, but it does have <clears throat> the letters BDK on the top of the cap. And again, it's pretty heavy it has some weight to it and again so if you look at the bottle here it has bdk parfums on the front and of course on the side of it over here it says rouge smoking of course the name of the fragrance and then it has the uh, concentration which this is an edp and this is a hundred mil uh bottle 3.4 fluid ounces on this one right here so that's the presentation <clears throat> for this fragrance now this uh, label on here is kind of a paper type label uh, So I don't know, um, you know, it's not really something I'm, I'm too concerned about but it is more of a paper type label It seems like this stuff could potentially rub off if it got wet But um, like I said not a huge issue, but just something worth note. All right So let's get a little bit more into what this thing smells like so I've already applied it on a test strip here and so I want to also give a uh, I'm gonna give a fresh spray of this stuff on my hand so we can just kind of get into talking about this a little bit more what this stuff smells like all right first of all i want to say i love the sprayer on this you can really kind of control uh the amount and how much you spray press down soft and then press down a little bit harder you see how it actually uh, a lot more juice came out and a lot faster so really controlled itemizer i like that uh when a fragrance you know has a good itemizer like that when you control the amount that you're spraying so let's give it a fresh smell a fresh sniff if you will so i mean right off the top guys i do i will say i like this fragrance so I, let, let me say that up top you know so you get in the opening of this the uh the thing that everybody's going to talk about and one of the most obvious notes when you first put your nose on this is that cherry accord it's not the same kind of cherry that you get uh, in tom ford's lost cherry uh, this one to me is a little bit more of a sweet note of cherry. But I really, really do like it. Now with that uh, cherry in the opening immediately, I'm starting to pick up uh, this kind of floral, uh, I would say more of a rosier nuance, which adds to, I think, the, the depth and the sensuality of the fragrance when it opens up. So it, it comes off very, very sexy in the opening 
and that's because of the use of pink berries. Uh, so it gives us a tad bit of spiciness, but more of a kind of floral, uh, kind of rosy type of vibe that I get from pink berry. It works really, really well with that uh, cherry accord in the opening of the fragrance. Now, after the first couple minutes of wearing this, you're gonna really start to pick up on those sweeter elements that are in this. Of course, it has, it says black vanilla, but I don't really know much of a difference between black and regular vanilla. I do pick up uh, vanilla in the fragrance. And I also get this kind of almondy type of vibe in the fragrance as well. About five minutes in, that's coming from Heliotrope. Heliotrope comes off oftentimes in fragrances and kind of gives you the same vibe that you're gonna get from uh, most type almond type accords uh, in fragrances. So you get that kind of nutty uh, nuance of almond that's coming from the heliotrope. And again, it's working really, really well with uh, the vanilla in this fragrance. So you start to get that kind of almost creamy uh, nature, uh, woody nature from, uh, well, a creamy, you know, almond type vibe as well, as well with that, um, that vanilla in the fragrance. And it is really, really nice, man. It starts to really give the fragrance some, some depth to go with that kind of cherry, rosy nuance that you get in the opening of this fragrance. Now, when this fragrance really starts to dry down, you start to get in some more of uh, the more resinous type notes in this, but they're coming off more as, as a nice, they're serving a nice base of kind of like this muskier type of accords that's coming in on the dry down. This fragrance does have notes like labdanum, uh, cashmere uh, in this as well, along with, um, I think it used a white musk note. And all three of notes actually really combine to give it this kind of nice woody, but really, really musky vibe. Uh, cashmere uh, as well as the, um, as well as the labdanum can oftentimes in fragrance give off or lend to more of a muskier tone. Um, although, of course, labdanum and, more, labdanum and cashmere comes off more as like resinous type of, of, of vibes most of the time, they can also really give off this really, uh, like I said, musky vibe. And that's really what you get uh, in totality with the combination of these notes. A really, really kind of uh, musky dry down on this, but it adds to an overall appeal of sexiness to this fragrance. So overall to me, that's what I would classify this as it's slightly gourmand with that cherry, but it's really, really sexy overall because of the use of notes like vanilla and, of course, that nice muskiness that you get on the dry down. Now, with that being said, uh, this does not lean really to me either masculine or feminine. This is one that's right down the, the road here as a unisex fragrance, so I think equally males or females could pull this fragrance off just as well. As far as performance on this thing, I got about that seven and a half to eight, eight and a half hour mark, uh, the times that I have worn this fragrance. So it's going to project really good for the first, I would say hour and a half to two, a little over two hours sometimes. It, it kind of, you got really good projection where you can really just effortlessly kind of pick this up. Although it never was really a huge projector, you know, it, it kind of gives you about that foot, foot and a half arm. Uh, arm length of projection. So it's never really a huge projector, but it does overall as far as longevity kind of stick around for a long time. Again, that's seven and a half, eight and hour, eight and a half hour total longevity. So again, where it's not going to really fly out there and really project hugely off of your skin at any point, it does project pretty well. So you can pick it up, you know, kind of in your bubble for that first hour and a half to two or so of wearing the scent. But I think that's really appropriate, again, for a fragrance like this that really is, to me, this sexy. Like I said, man, a lot of times those fragrances are going to sit a little bit closer to your skin, and that's kind of by design, because this is gonna be, I think, a great, like, uh, date night type scent. This is something uh, that I would really see you wearing in a date night type scenario. That would be one of the primary uses for me in this fragrance, although you could wear it a little bit more casually, I think, but. I, I really feel date nights is gonna be the most appropriate time for a very sexy uh, fragrance like this one right here. Now, as far as the seasons, I think uh, that would be appropriate for this. I really think this is a three season fragrance. And primarily I would say uh, the spring and fall would be the optimum 
uh, situation and times of the year to wear this fragrance. Although, of course, because of the way it's constructed, you definitely could get away with wearing it uh, in the winter. Although I wouldn't do it on super cold days, but definitely could get away with wearing this in the winter time. And maybe if it's not such a, maybe a nice summer night, although summer would probably, although summer would probably be, of course, my least preferred um, season to wear this in. But I think if it's a kind of relatively cool summer night, you could potentially get away with wearing this. But I would probably more so stay away from the summer. But all three other seasons, I would definitely um, consider this one that you could wear during those times of the year. Now, as far as price is concerned, of course, guys, I got mine from Scent Split because not only do they do decants of fragrances, they also sell full bottles of certain brands. This 3.4 ounce size bottle, and I think this is the only size that it comes in, retails for 180 bucks. So at that price point, guys, you know, comparatively speaking to a lot of other niche brands, it's not that bad as far as the price is concerned, but I would definitely recommend you giving it a try first. And again, uh, this is a five mil sample that I've gotten from Sense Split. So this is enough juice uh, in this bottle that you can really sample this and get a good feel for it to know if it's something that you would want to invest a full uh, bottle into. So that's what I would recommend, guys. I definitely think it's something that's worth trying. Uh, but again, I would probably look at getting a five mil sample. This one, uh, these five mil samples on there, I think are, I think $16.99 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can get a two mil sample that comes in a sprayer as well. I think it's $8.99. And then you can get a nine mil sample for $29.99, uh, which is really, that's enough juice, especially if you have a, a multiple fragrances to really get you through probably a full year or so. Uh, so again, it's one that I recommend, guys. Overall, it's a good fragrance. I give it on a scale of one to 10, like a 7.5 out of 10. It's really, really good. Um, again, if you like fragrances that have kind of that a nice cherry accord in it. This is one that I would definitely uh, recommend you try. And I really do like the way it kind of plays uh, with the cherry. And again, that kind of uh, musky kind of smokiness that you get on the dry down of this fragrance. It's very, very sexy as the name indicates. So guys, if you want to try it, if you want to try this fragrance, whether a full bottle or you want to try a sample, of course, I'll leave the link down below where you can do so. Um, and it will be down in the description of the video. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. As I gave you my opinion on the new Hype Beast, which is BDK Parfums Rule Smoking. I always appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, I know you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your guy. Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell absolutely amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.